Hey guys, welcome back to our VMware VCP 605 ICM hands-on training. This is lab 13 into our series. In this lab, we'll go ahead and uh, work with migrating virtual machines. When I say migrate, migrating, we will be working with the vMotion, which a lot of people uh, I think really know. So this is the high-level agenda that we plan to go over in this lab. First, we'll go ahead and uh, do a migration of our VM from local storage to the shared storage. So if you recall in some of the previous lab, we had a configuration some iSCSI LAN and we had created some shared storage. So now we will go ahead and migrate one of our VM which is sitting on the local storage. We will go ahead and migrate that VM from the local storage to the shared storage. Then we'll go ahead and add a new VM kernel uh, port group for the vMotion. If you recall during the iSCSI lab we had added a dedicated VM kernel for the IP storage. So we'll go ahead and repeat the same process but this time it will be for the vMotion. And then we'll, once that is done we'll go ahead and perform a live vMotion. When I say live vMotion that means your VM is powered on, it's up and running and we'll go ahead and migrate the your host or the VM from one ESXi host to the another ESXi host. Uh, last but not the least, uh, we will also go ahead and attempt to migrate both the compute and storage for a VM. So let's go ahead and jump directly onto the hands-on and we will see some of these things in action. I've logged into our VMware vSphere web client. Now let's go ahead and click on VM and templates. So on the VM and templates, there are a couple of the VM, VMs we have. Now let's take an example here, the VM being uh, VM4 here so on the vm4 if you take a look here right now the vm4 resides on storage uh, ds43 so we will go ahead and attempt to migrate uh, this virtual machine which is sitting on our local storage ds43 to one of our shared storage and let me go ahead and show you another thing this vm is right now sitting on host 43 so let's go ahead and click on 43 quickly and let's go to the data stores so these are the data stores which are available on our host 43 so right now our vm is in the local data store 43 so we will go ahead and migrate this VM from data store 43 local to this shared storage. So let's go back to the VMs and templates one more time. Now go to your VM and you can just simply right click on your VM. There is an option that says migrate. So using this migrate, uh, once you click it will go ahead and start your migration wizard. So simply go ahead and let's create a migrate. So within the migration type, there are a couple of uh, migration uh, that we can do. The first option today says change compute resource only. That means you just want to change your compute. That means if you just want to move from one ESXi host to the another ESXi host, that would be an option. If you are just looking to do the storage change, that's the case in our uh, example. We want to change the storage from local to the shared. So we will be choosing the change storage only. Uh, there is another option on the same page that says change both compute resource and storage. If let's say for some reason you want to change both the compute as well as storage for your VM, you can go ahead and select that. So let's go ahead and change the storage right now. Now go ahead and simply click on next here. Now, in this page, we are being presented with a list of possible and compatible LUNs or the data store where we that we can go ahead and select for the migration. So in that case, let me go ahead and select our shared iSCSI storage. I will go ahead and select that. And if you took a, take a look at the compatibility, it says compatibility check succeeded and select virtual machine disk format, same format as a source. If you need to change, you can go ahead and change. Okay, hey, let's say we want to convert it to a thin provision or thick provision. That would be the time you can go ahead and select that. But I'll just leave it to same format as a source. And and once everything looks good, just simply go ahead and hit next here. On this page, you are being presented, okay, hey, the disk format will be the same. Now the target will be the shared iSCSI storage. So let me go ahead and hit finish here. Now the wizard has kind of really started migrating the disk. Uh, let me go ahead and open the recent task. And if you look at the recent task, it right now it says relocate virtual machine is 42% complete. That means that disk of this VM is being relocated from our data store DS43 to the shared storage. It'll be a few minutes and once this is done we will continue. And as you can see our migration just got completed successfully. Here it says completed. If I go back and click on VM4 and if we take a look at the storage right now the storage says DS43 and shared iSCSI storage. That means we were able to successfully migrate the storage of this virtual machine from 43 to the iSCSI storage. And if we go back to the data store, okay, here is our data store. We can take a look here. Now in this case we just went ahead and migrated our data store. Now let's go ahead and to prepare our environment
and for the live vMotion, let's go ahead and add a dedicated VM kernel port for your vMotion. And if you recall, some of the steps are pretty common, which we went through uh, during the iSCSI configuration. So now let's go to your ESXi host and under configure, there is a networking section. Under networking, you have the virtual switches and there was a VM kernel adapter. So simply go to VM kernel adapter. You can go ahead and click on the plus icon. And now we can run through the same wizard again to add our VM kernel adapter for the vMotion. So now let's go ahead and select the switch that we will be potentially will be using. Let's say in this case, it's a vSwitch zero. Now simply go ahead and click next. Go ahead and specify a name for the VM kernel. Let's call it vMotion one. And in this case, we'll go ahead and do IPv4. The main thing we need to do here is vMotion. And once that is done, just simply go ahead and click next. Go ahead and specify an IP address and just simply go ahead and click finish. So instead of creating a new one for the vMotion, I will be making use of our existing one that we had created for the IP storage. But I just walked you through the process of creating a new VM kernel for the vMotion. The main thing we need to do here, we need to enable the vMotion as the service while creating the VM kernel port. So let me come out from this wizard and go back to our VMK port one that we had created for the IP storage. Let me just go ahead and simply edit that one. And on for this VMK, we will go ahead and simply enable the vMotion as an additional service that we want to use. So now once that is done, just simply go ahead and click OK. So now our IP storage VMK kernel has been configured or equipped with the vMotion. So now let's go and repeat the same process for our rest of the host. Let's go to the 44. Again, we can definitely go ahead and create a dedicated one if you want, but we had created one. So I'm using our existing one. So just simply go ahead and edit the setting on this one too. Select the vMotion as the enable services on this VM kernel port. Go ahead and apply the changes. And let's repeat this one more time for our last host 45 VM IP storage. Go ahead and edit your IP storage and enable the vMotion and simply click OK. So with that, now we have just enabled the vMotion capabilities within our VMware environment. And using this VM kernel port, we will be able to migrate our VMs which are running or which are powered on from one ESXi host to the another ESXi host. If you recall, uh, we went ahead and migrated VM4 to the a shared data store. So now let me go ahead and just simply right click here and do an edit settings and show you something here. And if we take a look at the disk 32 here, so right now this disk is being migrated to the iSCSI shared storage. So now let me go ahead and power on this particular VM. So we can just simply go ahead and right click and click on power on. So we just went ahead and powered on our VM and I have assigned an IP address to our VM. And as you can see, we are able to ping uh, constantly the IP address of the VM. And right now, if you take a look, this, ho this VM is sitting on host 43. Now we will go ahead and try to attempt a live vMotion migration from this host to one of the different hosts within our ESXi and the process would remain pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and try the live vMotion. For that, you just simply go ahead and right click on your VM. And on that, we have the option of migrate. Within the migrate, we will go ahead and select only the change compute resource only. When you are changing the compute resource, we are just doing the uh, vMotion where we are only changing the compute resource because the storage in this case is shared amongst all of our ESXi host. So that's the option. So let's go ahead and select change compute resource only. And now go ahead and simply click on the next button. On this page, we are being presented with a couple of options. The first thing says select a compute resource. So there are three ESXi hosts where we had configured the vMotion as the capability on all the three hosts. So right now the VM4 is sitting on 43. So that we, so we want to have this VM moved from to a different host from 43. So let's go ahead and pick some other host. Let's say in this case, we want to uh, move this VM from 43 to 44. Now, if you take a look at the compatibility, it says the compatibility check succeeded. That means everything looks good. If you had a cluster, we can change the filter to a cluster resource pool or to a V app, whatever we need to do. In this case, it's host. So this will be our destination host that we will be migrating this VM to from host ESXi 43. Now let's just go ahead and simply hit next here. And on this page, we are being presented with a select network where it says, okay, hey, right now the source network, the VM is sitting into a VM network. And on this VM, there is only one network. What is the destination network that you want to select for uh, this particular one? So in this case, we will go ahead and simply say, okay, hey, the source is uh, VM network. On the destination, we want this VM to go into the VM network only. So everything looks okay here. And again, from the compatibility point of view, it says compatibility check succeeded. If you wanted to move this VM to a different network, you can 
can definitely go ahead and select that. Now, once everything looks good on this page, just simply go ahead and click next. Now, in terms of the vMotion priority, there are a couple of priority. We can do a schedule regular vMotion or we can schedule vMotion with high priority and that's kind of VMware's recommended and best practice. And no matter if you are working in a lab or production, that would be the option you want to use when you are migrating. So we'll go ahead and simply do schedule vMotion with high priority recommended and let's go ahead and click next here. We are being presented with our review. Everything looks good. Simply go ahead and click finish. And at the bottom of the screen, you can say relocate virtual machine while it's being relocated. If we take a, take a look at our ping that we were pinging this VM and now the remotion is almost 57% done. 58% is completed and we are doing a constant ping to our VM. And as you can see, our vMotion was just successfully completed. So within this, within our lab, we just lost only six uh, ICMP packets, but now our ping or ICMP connectivity has been restored to the VM. And as you can see on the screen, now the host has been to move to 44, but the storage is common because the storage was a shared storage, which is available on all of our ESXi host. And as you can see, now this VM4 has moved from ESXi 43 to ESXi 44. Again, if we need to re-migrate, we can again right click or you can just simply do a drag and drop. Let's say you want to migrate this VM from host 44 to 45. I can just simply select this, do a drag and drop to 45. That would also launch the migration wizard and we can go ahead and migrate if that's what you are looking. So that's how we can go ahead and do a live migration on a VM. This would be something really good when you're working in production and let's say for some reason you need to put one host into the maintenance and you need to carry out some maintenance tasks. In that case, you can go ahead and make use of the vMotion and migrate your VMs from one host to the another host and then carry out some of your maintenance tasks on that host. There may be a situation, let's say in this example, we have a VM3 which is sitting on host 43 and is sitting on, on our local storage and let's say in this case we want to migrate this vm to a different host at the same time we want to migrate to a different storage also so we can go ahead and certainly do that and if you recall or let me just show you in practical if we go to the migrate within the migrate uh, we have an option that says change both compute resource and storage so within that we can also specify okay do we want to change the compute first or do we want to change the storage first it's up to you uh, so let me go ahead and change the storage first and once the storage is changed we will go ahead and migrate uh, that to a different uh, compute also so we can go ahead and make uh, the selection based on that so let me go ahead and select this to next year so in within your DC one let's go ahead and select the data store where we want to migrate so in this case I want to migrate to this particular data store uh, cannot perform compatibility validation uh, that's okay we know this is a valid resource now just simply go ahead and click next here once that is done now you go ahead and select the host where you want to migrate this VM. Right now this VM is sitting on host 43. Let's migrate it to host our 45. We are being presented with a compatibility warning. It seems uh, the data store is being backed up with some ISO which is okay. Now just simply go ahead and click next here. Uh, in terms of the dev network we can the source VM is sitting right down to the dev network. On the destination network you can select uh, whatever network you want. Let's say on the destination I want to change the network of this VM from dev network to the VM network. We can go ahead and do that and once everything looks good just simply go ahead and click next. You are being presented with all of the information uh, simply go ahead and click finish here so it would be few minutes uh, in this case for this VM we will have both the storage as well as the host will get migrated it'll take a few minutes once it's done we'll come back and as you can see our migration just got completed VM3 was relocated to our host 45 and the data store was also changed to the shared iSCSI storage so that's how uh, we can migrate our VMs from one data store to the another data store or to a shared st data store or or we can do a vMotion once the VM is sitting on a shared storage we can move the VM from one compute resource to the another compute resource or we can all together change both the compute as well as the storage for our VM using the migrate option. That'll be all for this lab. I will see you in the next lab.